This is Eugene Pandrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Asus ROG Republic of Gamers, Gamers GL551J laptop with a cracked screen. And I'm going to show you, show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Asus GL551J laptop. A couple of things before we start. We need to remove the battery from the bottom and identify the laptop to make sure that this, this is the correct one. So we're going to close the laptop, flip it over, and remove the battery. It's pretty easy. Just slide the lever, lift up the battery, and remove. Second, we're going to look on the bottom label to identify the laptop because there's many part numbers that are similar and procedures slightly different from each one. So this is a GL551J. Okay, now that we got that taken care of, the next thing we're going to talk about is the tools we're going to use. We have a PH0 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We then have a smaller PH00 screwdriver for smaller screws. We have a pair of metal tweezers used as a prying tool and to manipulate cables and to remove any screws that may be stuck. We have a hobby knife or exacto knife to lift up adhesive tape. And finally we have a spudger. It's also a prying tool. We may or may not need it during this procedure. Now, uh, normally the first order of business to get to the laptop screen is to remove the screen bezel, the frame that goes around the screen. But this laptop is slightly different in that we have to remove the two hinge covers because there's screws hiding behind the hinge covers to, that we need to get to to remove the screen bezel. So in order to do that, we put the laptop on its side and we need to loosen up the hinge covers. So the way we do that is use our spudger to just to tilt it and to loosen up the hinge cover on the bottom and do the same thing on the bottom hinge cover. So make sure you have a firm grip and see if we can get this. Maybe if we uh, flip it over and try it again. There we go to loosen up the hinge cover. We then use our prying tool, or actually we use our tweezers to dig into the bottom under the hinge cover and to remove this one. The second one, it's a little bit harder for some reason, so, but we do the same thing and it comes off. Okay, you normally don't want it to pop off like that, but everything's in one piece and everything is safe. Okay, you put the hinge covers on the side. The reason we took off the hinge covers first is these two screws. There's one here and one here. So we need to remove these two screws to remove the bezel. So we use our PH0 screwdriver to grab them and put them on the side. Uh, for each step, for each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile in the order in which I remove them. And the reason I do this is it helps you keep track which screws go where when we put the laptop back together. Okay, so we use our tweezers to remove the screw so it doesn't fall in there somewhere. Now that we've done this, we can remove the screen bezel. This one's on pretty tight, so at first I didn't have luck getting a grip on it on the side, but you can get a pretty good grip on it on the top. So what you want to do is put your fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and start lifting up and out and listen for snapping sounds. And this way, go around the whole screen bezel from top to bottom. If you get stuck in a place, you can come back to that place down the road, just go to a different place and keep going and it comes out easily. Okay, so that was the hardest part. Next, we want to remove the screen from the back of the screen assembly. And when we do this, we 
tilt the laptop screen back a little bit so when we move, remove all the screws, the screen doesn't fall forward on you. So we remove the four screws like so. And then once we do that, we lay the screws down. We then grab the screen by the top, by the top mounting tabs, it was stuck a little bit, but I was able to remove it, and carefully lower the screen onto the, onto the keyboard assembly. Okay, we see that we only have one connector and it's secured by some adhesive tape. So I'm not sure if this adhesive tape is original or someone has been in there and removed the screen already. But in any case, we remove the top adhesive tape and put it to the side. And then we remove the adhesive tape that's secured in the connector. We use our hobby knife to lift up a corner of the of the tape just enough for our fingertips to grab it and see if I can grab it not yet so we lift up some more and try again okay so this is really strong adhesive tape but I think I got it Gently pull the adhesive tape back, trying very carefully not to damage the connector. Once we pull the adhesive tape back, grab it with both of your fingertips and gently pull the connector back like so. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to reconnect it. Okay, when you reconnect it, slide it back in. You'll feel but not hear two clicks. That means it's properly engaged. And let's get a close-up of the connector. Pause the video right there. The two sides of the seam should be flush with each other. There should not be a gap between the two sides of the connector. Okay, then we remove the connector and the screen is out. So let's take a look at this screen. This is a 15.6 inch EDP full HD screen slim with a matte finish. So uh, what you need to know is has a 30 pin connector it has full HD resolution and it's a slim screen that means the mounting tabs are on the top and bottom rather than screw holes on the side and it has a matte finish. So the part number for this particular screen is N156HGE-EAB. You can order this screen from us from Screen Surgeons and if what you get with us is a compatibility guarantee. We guarantee you to send the right screen. And if we don't, we'll make it right. We'll send you, we'll resend this right screen to you. Just contact us. We also have free email technical support when you do put your uh, laptop screen in and a two year warranty on the screen. The screens that we sell come with this exact same toolkit that I used in the video. And it comes for free with the screen and also we have free priority mail shipping in the United States. If you live outside of the United States, we can ship to most countries around the world. Just follow the normal checkout procedure and select your country. To order the screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out which will lead you to the right screen and then just follow the checkout procedure. Okay, once you do get the screen in, reconnect the connector like I showed you. Mount the screen in into the screen assembly. Put the two screws in at the top, two at the bottom. Snap the screen bezel back on and probably the most tricky part is working this, these hinges in. You just gotta work them in and snap them back, back in. Make sure this uh, indented part on, is on top and this is the bottom, so this is the top. This is the bottom, it's easy to confuse. And once you get those in, your laptop should be working again. Okay, uh, once again, my name is Eugene Panarukovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. 
Thank you very much and good luck.